Hello everybody, my name is Jim Stefanko and this is episode 12 of the Wolves Fan Review. Last night our Sudbury Wolves played at home to the 9-1 league leading Sarnia Sting. We started off the first period and both teams were coming out flying in this one. Both teams were laying out enormous hits on both ends of the ice. And at about 5 minutes in we get a little too excited and take the game's first penalty. With a couple key saves from Jake McGrath and great zone coverage by our penalty killers, we're able to kill it off no problem. I hate it when people order like 12 sandwiches from Tim Hortons drive through Uh, this is definitely the wrong coffee. Always verify. And seven and a half minutes into the period, Cole Candela takes the puck coast to coast. He manages to get a shot in on the goalie. The rebound comes out to Olin Gilhula, who's posted up right in front of the net. Down on one knee, he puts a snapshot past the goalie. It is one nothing Sudbury. A couple plays later, the Sarnia Sting try to clear the puck out of their zone. New guy, Doug Blaisdell, is waiting at the blue line. He just punch checks the Sarnia Sting player in the face. No call. Let's keep it going. Next, we see a good hard shift from Pazetta, Balitka, and Gilhula. Follow that up with a good hard working shift from Sokolov, Lajeunesse, and Murray. And with about five minutes left in the period, Dawson Baker's working hard in the Sarnia zone. He takes a high stick right to the mouth. Bleed for me, Baker. Bleed. Dawson Baker spits out a petite amount of blood, and that's good enough for the ref. We got a four minute double minor power play. But we could not get anything going on this power play. And I'll give it to Sarnia on this one. They probably spent about a minute and a half killing that penalty in our zone. So Sarnia kills off our really good opportunity, and we end the first period up one to nothing. Now, 30 seconds into the second period, the Sting trip up David Levin, and we're going back on the power play. This time, we are moving the puck around awesome in their zone. Tape to tape passes, shot after shot, and with some commotion down in front of the net, the puck finds Michael Pozzetta, and he bangs it home in his 2 nothing Sudbury. Let's go! No, 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 uh, sorry, Sarnia, I was not, no, I was not talking to you, Sarnia. One minute later, Sarnia gets the puck in the Sudbury zone. They take a shot from the point. I don't know if it was deflected in front or if McGrath was just screened on the play, but it gets past them. Our lead is cut in half. We're up two to one. Eight minutes into the period, Sudbury can't clear it out of their zone. It gets back to Sarnia at the point. They take a shot. It gets tipped and tipped again and tipped again. It lands right on the stick of a Sarnia player right next to Jake McGrath. He roofs it on him. It is two to Two. With about seven minutes left, we're in a four-on-four -four situation. We give the puck away in our offensive zone. No, 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 no. The Sting breakout two-on-one. No, get out of here. Pass to the left, pass to the right. One-timer, Sarnia scores. They are up three to two. Oh my God. And that's how we end the second. Why can't we have nice things? It's all good, I'm not worried. Sarnia's gonna take a break. We're gonna get some momentum back. We're good. This third period's ours. 15 seconds into the third period. Sarnia walks down the left hand board, completely uncontested. He snipes it past Jake McGrath. 4 2 Sarnia. Back to the scene of the crime. And five minutes into the period, Sarnia takes a penalty. He had lots of shots and lots of opportunity, but could not get one in. Later in the period, we find ourselves on a five on three opportunity. And again, so many chances and so many shots. We could not get another one past the Sarnia goaltender. Sarnia eventually pops in an open netter. Sudbury loses five to two to the Sarnia Sting. Now I haven't done this yet, and I didn't think I ever would, but I gotta give credit to the goaltender Fazio on Sarnia. He put on one of the best goaltending displays I've ever seen live. But that being said, it was also one of the cockiest goaltending displays I've ever seen. He would catch a puck and literally put it up in the face of the player who shot it at him. And it's little things like that that are gonna get you no respect from people in the league. When it comes to draft time, your character has a lot to do with when and where you get drafted. Not that my opinion even matters on that subject, but I just wanted to put that out there. Great game, poor attitude. But the highlight of the night for me happened within about the last minute of the game. Me and my friends were just sitting in our seats, and this young girl walked into our row and just kind of stared in my direction a little bit. So my buddy Matt moved seats, and the young girl came to sit down beside me. She wanted to tell me that her name is Victoria, and that she loves watching my videos. <laughs> 
and I don't really know what to say because I've never had a fan before. So we just chatted a little bit. I let her ding the cowbell for a while. And it really put into perspective the kind of people that might watch these videos all the time. And people crack jokes all the time about how mad I get when the wolves lose or how excited I get when they win. But I love it because it's something I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about hockey. I'm in school taking a program that I'm passionate about. And if I ever give any advice on anything, it would be to be passionate about something. Whether it's hockey or school or music music or writing. Find something you love and go all in. People aren't always going to agree with you, but if you speak your mind and you're honest, people will respect you for it. So Victoria, thank you very much for having the courage to come over and say hello yesterday. It really did mean a lot to me. That being said, tonight, Saturday, here at home, we play the Kingston Frontenac. Go online to the Sudbury Arena box office and grab your tickets early, or give yourself some time beforehand and show up early and grab some tickets there. My name is Jim Stefanko. This was episode 12 of the Wolves Fan Review. We'll see you again after game 13.